Okay, in this video we're going to make the enemy missiles collide with the cities now. Uh, so back to Unity. And first thing we're actually going to do, I'm going to make these missiles a little bit smaller. Uh, I'll try this. Yeah, that seems a bit better because they're going to have trail effects yet too, uh, which will make them seem a bit bigger. And we'll do the same for the player. We can adjust this more later when we play test, but at least now it'll be a bit smaller and more comparable to the original game. Okay, so we have that. So first thing we gotta do, we gotta add a, let's go to this, we gotta add a collider to this. So easy enough, we'll just use a circle collider. And that fits perfectly. And we also need to add a rigid body 2D since this will be moving. Um, so we don't want to use gravity and we want it kinematic because we're going to control it all from code. So if we set it to kinematic, everything should be good on here. Okay, so we have that. Let's double check our cities. They have box colliders, so that should be good. And they're set as triggers. So let's go into our enemy missile code. And we're going to do oops. We're going to do on trigger enter 2D. Okay, so I got to change the defaults on that. I always use COL as mine. Um, so yeah, so we have this now. And just to make sure we're actually hitting a city or the, the missile launcher, we're going to do if collider.tag equals, I believe we called it defender? Or was it defenders? This is where tags can get a bit annoying because if anything gets changed, everything will break. So we'll probably change this to, to use something better later instead of tags, but for now everything will work. So to make sure this works, let's just debug. Um, enemy missile hit uh, defender. So this should get called now anytime that any time that a missile hits one of the defenders. So right now we only have the one missile that spawns. We'll have to work on that later, but there. So enemy hit defender. So that is the main point of that. And at that point, we're going to want to spawn an animation and destroy them. So for the meantime, we can still use this other animation that we're using. Uh, so you know what, let's do that. So we'll add here, serialized field, private game object, and we'll call this explosion prefab. And we can actually do same code from our player missile. We'll add that in here. The name is the same. And that is on our enemy missile. I believe this is the one. Yeah, so it's called player. You know what? We'll just change this to missile explosion. That way it's generic for anything. Okay, let's drag it in here. And if we run, it should spawn that. And it does not. That is set as a defender. Okay, well, it worked there. I'll have to try this again to make sure it actually hit our middle guy. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get it to go to him right away. Okay, so there's something wrong there. Ah, that's it. Not so does the trigger. So apply that to the prefab and there, that should work fine now. Okay, so we have that spawning. And what we'll want to do once that spawns is destroy this missile. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so that's going to create the explosion, destroy this missile. And then we're going to want it to also destroy the city. But we may want to end up actually doing this on the city itself. Um, you know what, for now, we're going to do it here. Because when the city gets destroyed, we're going to want to call something that basically tells the game that the city got destroyed. So what we may do is, uh, when I get to that point, I may use this and get the script component of the city and then have it run whatever needs to be run on there. And we'll have to do a check if it's one of the cities or if it's the actual missile launcher, because then we'll have different um, different stats that change and different outcome of that. So let's do collider.gameObject. That should destroy both now. Okay, so for now that that's good. We'll we'll clean it up so the animations look a bit better and everything later. But right now that's sitting pretty good. So we'll go with that one for now, and then we'll continue on.